The Senate has confirmed the nominations of Namonso Ekanam and Mahmoud Abubakar Magiji as members of the Federal Judicial Service Commission. The nominees, who are from Akwaibom and Niger states, are to represent the South South and the North Central Zone of the Commission, respectively. The confirmation of both nominees followed the consideration of a report by the Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters. A toy of Airport Road. Mr. President, the existence of a Pension Reform Act 2004 which is not amended. Amended as Pension Reform Act 2014. And the Act provides for a departure from the old pension scheme of defined benefits to a new contributory pension schemes, CPS. It also provides for a setup of National Pension Commission, PENCOM. The, the Pension Act, as amended, cannot be said to have achieved the, its objective of solving the intractable pension crisis. Suffice to say that the issue of pension in Nigeria has more or less turned a monster that has defied all efforts by state government to contain it. And to say that the plight and distress which retirees face in our nation has come to a point where it's as if it is a crime to serve one's nation, investing the better part of one's life only to retire into hardship. Our savings under the contributory pension scheme is meant to be a saving for the rainy day for pensioners during their working days, their active life. The contradiction and irony, however, is that the unfortunate reality that retirees and pensioners face while their accumulated savings are feasted upon by corrupt officials requires that this bill should be given speedy consideration. Retirees have no other means of survival simply because their savings account is just simply accumulated with the pension commission, which determines what they want to give them as a lump sum. That lump sum will not last six months, it's gone. And then the amount of money that they give them monthly is too small for them to survive up. Because they have no voice in the amount of resources that comes to them at the monthly money that comes to them to take care of their families. Most of these beneficiaries or pensioners don't have a clue. It is what the you know, operators tell them they have as their contribution in their account. It's what, that's what they take. And overall, they now come again to define what you are going to get and what you are not going to get. And I think this is the misery that pensioners are suffering from. And I think, like the leader said, beyond the issues we are talking about here, by 2024, that would have been 20 years of implementation of this pension reform. I think it is time for us to begin to assess and evaluate the operation over these years and to see the ills or the successes with a view to coming up with another comprehensive reform that is people-friendly, that will help the retirees. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.